Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My dear beloved, today we read an important word from Ephesians, that is the New Testament of the Bible. The chapter is 6, chapter verse 4. Here we are going to understand the role of parents. Yes, it says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4, And you fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonition yes of the lord yes here the beautiful word is saying and explaining us the role of parents yes the family as we see here the father is a parent responsible for setting the pattern of his children obedience in the family any disciplining the mother does is an extension of the father's authority in the home so we understand that the father is the head of the family yes it has been designed like that yes as our loving god has planned it the husband and the father must take leadership in this area of the family and the wife and the mother must be in submission the father's responsibility is set forth in two ways first as we understand the father is not to do is do not provoke your children to wrath he is not to over discipline them or reign in terror yes with the result that the child can only react in a blind outbreak or rage yes it's very important my dear all father and mother yes it is important that we do not have a over discipline on them just try to you know put or enforce certain things don't do this don't do that we have to say that but we have to do it in a very gentle manner second also as we see what is the father doing here he has to but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord to bring them up involves three ideas let us understand it the first one it is a continuous job yes as a seed we do sow it and it becomes a big as we see a big tree and it gives us the shade yes similarly training the children yes in the family it is a continuous process it is not a one day process as all the fathers and mothers know it and i am thankful that jesus christ has loved us and the same word is been sown in our hearts of fathers and mothers yes as long as the child is dependent the father is to be responsible for providing for the child so that he becomes what god wants him to be second point it is a loving job we have to love our job only then we can bear the fruits when we love our job that is rearing our children as father we are taking care of the children as mother we are taking care of the children the basic thing the important ingredient of the family is love love of christ yes for when we love one another christ is, is seen in us and his love is made complete in us as we read in 1 john 4 verse 12 so jesus christ has loved us with everlasting love john 3 16 yes and also we read in Jeremiah 31 3 so let us have the same love in our family and the love will grow you will see the faith hope and charity is there but the greatest of all is love as we read in 1 Corinthians 13 13 yes today the whole world is lacking one thing and that is love yes even the animals we see we see the dog the cat our pets yes they need love and they also love us yes so as father as mother we should also train up a child in the way he should go yes and when he is old he will not depart from it the word is saying in Proverbs. yes so we have to guide our children we have to love them my dear brother my dear sister the basic thing is love the children love your children and you will see the fruits they will be full of love and they will be growing full of nourishment with the love that you love them with yes as the word is true as it says 
it's a loving job to bring up means literally to nourish tenderly children should be objects of tender and loving care a very very important and basic thing is it's a loving job and we have to love our children our family husbands have to love their wives wives have to respect their husbands and also they should love them the same word we read in 1 colossians chapter 18 yes and the same word in 1 peters we are reading yes it is directing us chapter 4 is directing us 1 peter chapter 4 so let us read the bible here it is a book of life giving us all the guidance of life telling us of our past present future it is also as the word says as read in props chapter 15 verse 3 there is nothing hidden from the lord the eyes of the lord are everywhere keeping a watch on the evil and the good we may think that nobody is seeing me we may think that whatever i am doing i can do no read the bible my dear brother my dear sister and what is the result you will get blessing this word in the bible is not a book of novel yes it is not a novel or a book it is the book of life it is the road map of life whenever you get time in day or night read the bible and jesus christ will speak to you for your every problem he'll speak to you as we read in prob 6 verse 22 it says as we sleep it will keep us as we are awake it will talk to us and as we roam the word of god will also guide us so everything is there what a mighty god we serve our living god the king of king the judge of judges and our mighty god almighty god he is our ebenezer he is our emmanuel he is a prince of peace and also he is a yahweh ire that is god will provide genesis 22 verse 14 the third point we read it is a twofold job involving the nurture that is child training as we train our children all that a child needs for his development physically mentally and spiritually and admonition that is corrective discipline the literally meaning of the admonition is corrective discipline of the lord yes we have to teach them from the beginning yes they have to read the bible we have to inculcate this habits in our children we have to teach them to love the lord to praise him to thank him and also we have to teach them to pray and read the bible we have to do it lord we have to do all these things and teach our children and the result will be that they will be god fearing children yes they will be blessed in their lives and they will be a blessed children in their lives and for the same jesus christ will bless you my dear loving all my people who are hearing the word of god now the father is god's constituted home authority a very important and basic sentence as i say the father is god's constituted home authority who is to discipline the church the children the child when he does not obey as god intends the father who does not discipline his children is a father who is undisciplined himself and is disobedient to god's will yes a child's disobedience is not to be tolerated yes so what this whole thing is saying that as father as mother we have to love our children we have to train them in the way they have to go in life and we have to love them and also we have to guide them in the way which the lord jesus christ wants us to go may jesus christ bless each one of us abundantly as we read in psalm chapter 6 Yes, chapter thirty-eight, verse six. May Jesus Christ bless each one of us. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.